All right, guys, buckle up because today we're diving into the world of unconventional riches. Ever heard of a guy who turned rocks into a million dollar empire? It sounds like a joke, right? But the truth is stranger than fiction, my friends. We're about to explore eight wild and wacky investments that made people millionaires. From nostalgic toys to virtual lands, we'll uncover the fascinating stories of how these unconventional bets turned into life-changing fortunes. Get ready to be amazed, inspired, and maybe even a little bit motivated to think outside the box for your own path to success. Okay, let's kick things off with a classic pet rocks. You know, those smooth grey stones marketed as the perfect low maintenance pet back in the 70s. This crazy idea made its creator, Gary Dahl, a multi-millionaire in just six months. Dahl, an advertising copywriter, came up with the idea as a joke. But when he realized people were actually interested, he went all in. He sourced ordinary grey stones from a beach in Mexico, packaged them in cardboard boxes designed like pet carriers, and even included a tongue-in-cheek instruction manual for their care and training. The pet rock craze swept the nation, becoming the must-have novelty gift of 1975. At its peak, Dahl was selling over a million pet rocks a month. Can you imagine that? People were literally lining up to buy rocks. It just goes to show that sometimes the simplest ideas can be the most genius. But the pet rock story is more than just a tale of a quirky product. It's a testament to Dahl's marketing genius. He tapped into the power of humor and novelty, creating a product that was both irresistible and utterly absurd. The instruction manual, for example, was a masterpiece of satire filled with puns and ridiculous commands like play dead and roll over. The pet rock phenomenon was short-lived, fading as quickly as it rose, but it left a lasting legacy on pop culture and the world of marketing. Now, let's talk about something near and dear to many of our hearts' comic books. Those colorful pages filled with superheroes, villains, and epic adventures aren't just for kids anymore. In fact, they've become a serious collector's item with some rare issues fetching astronomical prices at auctions. Take, for instance, Action Comics Hash 1, the first appearance of Superman. In 2022, a copy in near-mint condition sold for a record-breaking $5.3 million. That's enough to make even Lex Luthor jealous but it's not just Superman soaring to new heights in the comic book market. Spider-Man, Batman, Wonder Woman. These iconic characters have all seen their early appearances skyrocket in value. So how did these once cheap magazines transform into valuable treasures? Well, it's a combination of factors. First, there's the nostalgia factor. Comic books evoke a sense of childhood wonder and escapism, transporting us back to simpler times. For many collectors, owning a piece of their childhood hero's history is priceless. Second, there's the rarity factor. As time passes, these early editions become increasingly scarce, especially those in good condition, and as any collector knows, rarity equals value. So the next time you're feeling nostalgic for your childhood, dust off those old comic books in the attic. You never know, you might be sitting on a gold mine. Remember those adorable little bean-filled creatures that took the world by storm in the 90s? I'm talking about Beanie Babies, those plush toys that became a cultural phenomenon and a surprisingly lucrative investment for some savvy collectors. These weren't your average teddy bears, they came in all shapes and sizes, from the iconic Princess the Bear to the elusive Garcia the Bear. And their limited production runs and retiring of certain characters created a frenzy among collectors, driving up prices to astronomical levels. At the height of Beanie Mania, people were lining up for hours outside toy stores hoping to get their hands on the latest release. While the Beanie Baby bubble eventually burst, leaving many with collections worth a fraction of their peak value, it taught us some valuable lessons about market speculation, the power of scarcity, and the emotional connection people form with collectibles. All right, who doesn't love a good food truck? They're like culinary adventures on wheels, popping up in cities worldwide and tantalizing our taste buds with unique flavors and creative concoctions. But did you know that some of these mobile eateries have become million dollar empires? It's true. Gone are the days when food trucks were just greasy spoons on wheels. Today they're culinary powerhouses, serving up gourmet grub that rivals even the fanciest restaurants. But what's the secret sauce behind their success? 
First off, food trucks have lower overhead costs than traditional brick and mortar restaurants. No need to rent out a huge space or hire a large staff. This allows them to keep their prices competitive and experiment with new menu items without breaking the bank. Second, food trucks thrive on social media. They've become masters at using platforms like Instagram and Twitter to connect with customers, announce their locations and build a loyal following. Hold on to your headsets, folks, because we're about to enter the matrix, uh, or at least the world of virtual real estate. I know what you're thinking, virtual land. How can you own something that doesn't physically exist? Well, welcome to the future. In the online world of metaverse platforms like Decentraland and The Sandbox, virtual land is a hot commodity. We're talking about digital spaces where you can buy, sell and develop virtual properties from sprawling estates to virtual theme parks. And guess what? People are paying real world money, sometimes millions of dollars for a piece of this digital pie. Take, for instance, the virtual real estate company Metaverse Group, which made headlines in 2021 when it purchased a plot of land in Decentraland for a whopping $2.43 million. That's more than the price of many real world homes. But why are people so eager to invest in virtual real estate? Well, for starters, it's seen as an extension of the digital world we already live in. As we spend more and more time online, it's only natural that we'd want to own a piece of that virtual space. Plus, there's the potential for profit. Just like in the real world, the value of virtual land can appreciate over time, especially as these metaverse platforms become more popular and attract more users. Ever walked into a cafe and felt like you stepped into a whimsical wonderland? That's the magic of themed cafes. These unique establishments go beyond your average coffee shop, offering an immersive experience that caters to specific interests and passions. Cat cafes, for example, have become a global phenomenon, providing a haven for feline lovers to sip their lattes while cuddling with furry companions. But the world of themed cafes doesn't stop there. Board game cafes offer a nostalgic trip down memory lane, inviting patrons to challenge friends and strangers alike to a rousing game of Monopoly or Settlers of Catan while enjoying a cup of coffee and a slice of cake. Bookworm havens with their cosy armchairs, overflowing bookshelves and the aroma of freshly brewed coffee provide the perfect escape for literary enthusiasts to curl up with a good book and a warm beverage. By catering to specific interests, these cafes create a sense of community and belonging, attracting like-minded individuals who share a common love for all things feline, board game related or literary. Moreover, themed cafes offer a unique selling proposition that sets them apart from the competition. In a world saturated with generic coffee shops, these establishments provide an experience that goes beyond just a caffeine fix. In the digital age of smartphones, laptops and instant messaging, you might think the humble typewriter has gone the way of the dinosaurs. But hold on to your typewriter ribbon because this vintage writing instrument is making a surprising comeback. That's right, antique typewriters are no longer just relics of the past gathering dust in attics and antique shops. They've become sought after treasures with collectors and enthusiasts alike willing to shell out big bucks for these mechanical marvels. But what's fueling this typewriter renaissance. Well, for starters, there's the nostalgia factor. In our fast-paced, tech-driven world, there's something alluring about the tactile experience of typing on a typewriter, the satisfying click-clack of the keys, the feel of the paper under your fingertips, the tangible record of your words taking shape on the page. It's a sensory experience that digital devices simply can't replicate. Beyond nostalgia, Antique typewriters are also appreciated for their craftsmanship and beauty. These machines are built to last, with intricate mechanisms and elegant designs that harken back to a bygone era of quality and attention to detail. As the holidays approach, our homes transform into winter wonderlands, adorned with twinkling lights, festive decorations and the centerpiece of it all, the Christmas tree. But have you ever stopped to think about where these evergreen beauties come from and the industry behind their festive cheer? While it might seem like a magical process, there's a whole lot of planning, cultivation and hard work that goes into getting those Christmas trees from the farm to your living room. And for some savvy entrepreneurs, it's become a surprisingly lucrative business. Christmas tree farming is a long-term investment requiring patience, dedication and a love 
for all things evergreen. It takes years for a Christmas tree to reach maturity, typically between seven to 10 years, depending on the species and desired height. But for those willing to put in the time and effort, the rewards can be bountiful. During the holiday season, Christmas tree farms transform into bustling hubs of activity as families flock to choose their perfect tree. The air is filled with the scent of pine needles, the sound of laughter, and the joy of the season. Mm. So there you have it, folks. From pet rocks to virtual real estate, we've explored eight unconventional investments that prove that sometimes the craziest ideas can lead to extraordinary success. The key takeaway? Don't be afraid to think outside the box. While I'm not suggesting you start hoarding beanie babies or buying up virtual land, these stories highlight the importance of innovation, creativity, and a willingness to embrace the unconventional. The most successful entrepreneurs and investors are often those who see opportunities where others see only absurdity. What do you guys think? Which of these unconventional investments surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos on unique investment strategies and entrepreneurial adventures. Until next time, keep those creative juices flowing and remember, fortune favours the bold.